a sex is a character and it consists of two alternatives namely maleness and femaleness. The organisms producing eggs are known as females and those producing sperms are known as males. Sex behaves as Mendelian character and it follows Mendel's law of inheritance. Sex of an organism is determined by many factors the morphological, cytological, genetical, physiological and environmental factor determine the sex. Based on this the sex determination is explained by the theories. For example, chromosomal theory of sex determination, environmental determination, hormonal determination, metabolic determination, determination of sex by parasite. According to this theory, the chromosome is the main factor to determine the sex. The chromosomal theory of sex determination was proposed by Ms. Stevens and Bridges and Goldsmith supported this theory. There are two types of chromosomes in an organism. They are the autosomes and allosomes. The autosomes contain genes which determine the somatic characters of the organisms. The allosomes determine the sex of an organism. Hence, the allosomes are called sex chromosomes. The sex chromosomes were first observed by Hanking in 1891 in the bug pyrochoris. There are two types of sex chromosomes. They are X chromosome and Y chromosome. These two chromosomes differ not only in appearance but also in genetic composition. The X chromosome is larger in size and is straight. It contains a large amount of euchromatine and a small amount of heterochromatine. The euchromatine is rich in DNA. So, X chromosome carries large amount of DNA. The Y chromosome is smaller in size. It has band at one end. It contains a small amount of euchromatine and large amount of heterochromatine. Hence, the amount of DNA in Y chromosome is less. In a normal animal, there are two sex chromosomes. The two sex chromosomes are XX or XY. In man, insect, etc., the female has two X chromosomes and the male has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. But in birds, the male has two X chromosome and the female has one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. The chromosomal theory of sex determination is subdivided into different division like theory of heterogamesis, genetic balance theory, quantitative theory, haploid diploid mechanism, gyndromorphs, cytological basis and monofactorial determination. Firstly, theory of heterogamesis. This theory was proposed by Corin in 1906. According to this theory, one sex produces two types of gametes and each type of gamete determines a different sex on fertilization. This type of sex determination may classified into two types and they are XX, XY type or Ligeus type. This type of sex determination was first studied in the milk weed bug Ligeus by Wilson. In this type, sex is determined by the presence of X 
and Y chromosomes. There are two different patterns of sex determination in Ligus type. They are XX female, XY male type or female homogametic and male heterogametic type. Secondly, XY female, XX male type or female heterogametic and male homogametic type. Firstly, XX female and XY male type or female homogametic and male heterogametic type. In this type of sex determination, the females carry XX chromosomes. They produce similar type of gametes and all the gametes carry one X chromosome. So, the females are said to be homogametic. The males carry XY chromosomes. They produce two different types of gametes. 50 percent of the gametes carry X chromosome and 50 percent of gametes carry Y chromosome. So, the males are said to be heterogametic example Drosophila and men. Sex determination in Drosophila. In Drosophila, the female is sexually homozygous or homogametic as it contains XX chromosomes while the male is sexually heterogametic because it contains one X chromosome and one Y chromosome. In Drosophila, three pairs of autosome and one pair of allosomes are present. In female, this represented by 3AA plus XX and in males, 3AA plus XY. The female produce only one type of gamete which carry 3A plus X, but in males, produce two types of gametes. They are 3A plus X and 3A plus Y. Sex is determined by the type of female gamete fertilizing male gamete. If female gamete is fertilized by X type male gamete, resulting individual is female and by Y type male gamete resulting individual is male. Now, sex determination in men. Sex determination in men is similar to that of Drosophila, but here the Y chromosome contains potent male sex determining genes which can almost completely overcome the feminizing action of the genotype. In men, 22 pairs of autosomes and one pair of allosomes are present. Here, the female is homogametic and the male is heterogametic. The conclusive evidence is that Y chromosome is a determiner of fertility and sex of male individual came from certain abnormal conditions called syndromes, which contained aneuploidic sex chromosomal abnormalities. For instance, Turner syndrome, XO, are sterile female individuals. Similarly, Klinefelter syndrome, XXY, are males despite the presence of two X chromosomes. A person with extra 1 X and Y chromosome display true hermaphroditism having characteristic feature of both male and female. It is often stated that sex determination in humans is based on the presence or absence of the Y chromosome. However, the situation is more complex. Sex determination in humans and other mammals is actually due to a single gene that is normally located on the Y chromosome. Near one of the pseudo-autosomal reasons, but not in it, 
is the S R Y that is sex determining region. The S R Y produces a gene product T D F testes determining factor that triggers undifferentiated gonadial tissue in embryos to form testes. Secondly, X Y female, X X male or female heterogametic and male homogametic type. In this type of sex determination, the female is heterozygous having X and Y chromosomes, the male is homozygous or having homogametic having two X chromosomes. The males produce only one type of gamete while the female produce two types of eggs or gametes. The egg containing X chromosomes fuse with the male gamete to produce male. The egg with Y chromosomes fuse with the male gamete to produce female. Example butterflies, fowls, birds and some fishes. In this type of sex determination, the X and Y chromosome are sometime designated as Z and W chromosome. So, the chromosomal structure of female is AA plus ZW and the male is AA plus ZZ. Sex determination in butterfly. In butterflies, the females are heterogametic and the males are homogametic. The chromosome number is 27 pair of autosomes and 1 pair of sex chromosome. Now, XX and XO type or proteinor type. This type of sex determination was first studied in squash bug proteinor. Here, the sex of animal is determined by the number of X chromosome present in the cell, example bugs and grasshopper. Sex determination in grasshopper. In grasshopper, the females have 11 pairs of autosomes and 1 pair of X chromosome. It means 11 AA plus XX. The males have 11 pair of autosomes and only one X chromosome that is 11 AA plus XO. It is said to be evolved by the loss of Y chromosome. The female produce only one type of gamete which carries 11 autosomes and one X chromosome. But the male produce two types of gametes one carrying 11 autosomes and one X chromosome and the other type carries only autosome. Now, genetic balance theory. This theory was formulated by Bridges. According to this theory, sex is determined by the relative number of X chromosomes and autosomes. It is actually the ratio between the X chromosomes and autosome determines the sex. The X chromosomes carry female stimulating genes and the autosomes seems to carry the male stimulating genes. There is no sex influencing gene in Y chromosomes. The sex of an animal is determined by the ratio between the numbers of haploid set of autosomes. The ratio is quantitative balance between X chromosome and the autosomes. Sex determining ratio sex index is equals to number of X chromosomes by number of haploid set of autosomes. If the sex index is 1, the individual develops into female. If the sex index is 0 0.5, it develops into male. If this ratio is intermediate 0 0.67, resulting individual is an intersex. 
if the ratio is above 1 the sex is super female and if ratio is below 0 0.5 the sex is super male. Now, quantitative theory of sex determination. Intersex is very common in moth, lamentaria, disper. Intersex individual possess an admixture of male and female characters. In this moth, the females are heterogametic XY and males are homogametic XX. Unlike Drosophila, in gypsy moth, all intersexes are diploid. Goldsmith proposed quantitative theory of sex determination to explain the existence of intersexes in gypsy moth. This theory states that sex is determined by the ratio between the strength of male factors and the strength of female factors. The sex factors for maleness are located on the X chromosomes and the sex factors for femaleness are located in the cytoplasm. When there is a balance between the male female determining factors, normal males and females develop haploidy and diploidy mechanism of sex determination. Development of an ovum into an young one without fertilization is known as parthenogenesis. Individuals produced parthenogenetically are called parthenot. Parthenots inherit characters only from female parent. In some hymenopterans like honeybees and ants, the female are diploid and the male are haploid. The female led the normal egg which carries the haploid set of chromosomes. The unfertilized haploid eggs develops parthenogenetically into functional males or drones. These drones carry only half the number of chromosomes of the female. If the egg are fertilized, the zygote develops into diploid female. In this, two types of females are produced from the fertilized eggs and they are fertile normal diploid queen and sterile non-functional diploid female workers. The diploid larva which gets the royal jelly as the food material develops into queen and the other develops into workers. Now, gynandomorphs. Gynandomorphs are individuals which show male characters on some parts of the body and female characters on other parts of the body. They are also called gynders. The gynandomorphs are sterile, gynders are rare. They occur in Drosophila, butterflies, beetles, bees and silkworms etc. Now, cytological basis of sex determination. The mammalian cells of certain sexes contain a darkly staining body in the nucleus. It is called sex chromatin or bar body. It was discovered by Bar and Batram in 1949. The bar body is attached to the inner surface of the nuclear membrane. It contains large amount of heterochromatin and lesser amount of euchromatin. Hence, it contains large amount of RNA and lesser amount of DNA. It is nothing but inactive X chromosome. Bar body helps to identify the sex of the animal. The number of bar bodies is always one less than the number of X chromosomes. For example, when there are two X chromosomes, number of bar bodies will be 2 minus 1 equals to 1. 
the number of bar bodies helps in the identification of sex if there is no bar body the sex is male if there is one bar body the sex is female now monofactorial sex determination in certain animals the sex determination is influenced by the differential action of the single gene in drosophila an autosomal recessive gene known as transformer gene tra influences the sex determination homozygous for this gene tra tra always expresses the male character even though the zygote carries xx chromosome thus a xx female with tra tra genotype will be a sterile male while a xy male with tra tra genotype will still be a normal male individual in certain animals environment determines the sex belzerine 1935 stated that in bonelia sex is determined by environmental factors bonelia is a marine worm it exhibits sexual dimorphism the larvae of bonelia are alike and they have potentialities to develop into any sex a larva settled on the proboscis of the female develops into male a larva settled in the mud develops into a female if the larva is detached from the proboscis of female before the completion of metamorphosis it develops into an intersex in some fishes and reptiles sex is determined by the temperature at which the eggs are incubated in lizards and alligators warm incubation temperatures cause all eggs to produce males while temperatures only 1 to 2 degree celsius cooler produce females in many cases it has been observed that sexual determination is controlled by hormones classical example of free martin would make clear that how hormones control the sex of an individual in cattle when twin calves of different sexes occurs the female number is usually a sterile intersex called a free martin the free martin has external feature like female but internal organs are more or less like those of male the male twins is usually normal f r lily in 1917 has suggested that the formation of a free martin was due to a fusion of the fetal membranes of the twin calves while they were in uterus of the mother the fusion of the fetal membranes permitted the blood of each twin to circulate in the blood vessel of the other the male hormones produced by the male twin are presumed to suppress the differentiation of the female internal reproductive organs of the co-twin while in birds only one gonad of normal female develops into functional ovary and other gonad remains rudimentary if the functional ovary is destroyed the rudimentary gonad develops into testes thus the female sex is reversed into male sex this phenomena is called as sex reversal according to dr oscar riddle 
the degree of metabolism plays an important role in sex determination. Normally, the metabolic rate is higher in males than that of females. Pigeons and doves produce two types of eggs which are differentiated by their yolk content. An egg which develops into male has the smaller yolk content than egg which develops into female. An increased rate of oxidation, larger water content and less protein storage in development leads to the production of more males. At the same time, the low rate of oxidation, smaller water content and higher protein storage in development influence the production of more females. In rotifers, increased oxygen consumption induces the production of more males. Endoparasites of some animal change the sex of their host. In case of crabs, if a crustacean parasite called seculina is present in a male, it is changed into a female in course of time. This may due to the physiological disturbances caused by the presence of parasites inside the host. Now, conclusion. This module presents the details about the various mechanisms of sex determination in animals. In most of the animals, sex determining mechanism is heterogametic male and female mechanism. Similarly, hormones and environmental factors also play an important role in sex determination. In some animals, genetic balance is the main factor.